Transportation costs affect the price of goods we buy, so reducing them could help our pockets. Road transportation is becoming more efficient, but what about the railroads? At this test site in Romania, engineers from a European research project are trying out an upgraded freight wagon, one that runs faster and carries a larger load than usual. Many parameters are being analysed, including the braking distance. This braking distance test is very important. A railway vehicle should remain within a limited braking distance, otherwise there's a risk of accidents and other railway safety issues. Innovations are being used to make this wagon lighter and reduce damage to the tracks. Sensors and other smart technologies are also in place to monitor the condition of the wagon and the rails as it moves along. The main innovations on this wagon are uh, its structure, which is much lighter than the usual ones, using uh, high-strength steels for the main structure elements, like uh, the middle beams, and also some interesting cold rolled profiles, like these ones. <laughs> But could these innovations be used easily in Europe? Researchers see the freight industry as very conservative. In the past, ambitious innovations have failed to be adopted. That's why this project focuses on ready-to-use technologies that don't require much change in the depot. We take innovations, they are all innovations, used elsewhere in the industry, or sometimes not in the railway industry, but in other industries, and we would bring them together to, in order to meet the requirements of the higher speed, the lower track forces, but that it wouldn't be too novel for the industry to accept. Researchers want to make sure that faster trains don't make life more difficult for people living close to the railroad. They're here measuring noise levels as the wagon speeds by. There are several ways to reduce the noise. One is using sound dampening materials in the train and on the rails. Another way is to try to reduce the vibration of the moving train. To study the vibrations, these researchers have developed inexpensive gyroscopes and accelerometers. Measuring damage to the tracks can prevent accidents and cut maintenance costs. Somebody tells me there's a problem at a site, I go to the site and I say, let's put uh, 50 sensors, one here, 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 here. And because they're low cost sensors, we can afford to do that. And they're designed to be put into place very quickly. And then we collect the information and analyze it afterwards to look for problems. With higher speeds of up to 140 kilometers per hour, greater efficiency and reliability, researchers believe the railroad system will become more competitive and more sustainable. That's the key word of the project, sustainability, especially environmental, economic, social aspects, finding the solutions that will be sustainable in the long term and make the railroad system more competitive compared to other transportation systems. Train transport is seen as cheaper and greener when it comes to long distances. It's hoped innovative thinking will put Europe's railroads on track towards a brighter future.